Trailers! Trailers! Buddy! Are you listening? Can you hear me? Hey! Hey, I've got a really, really cool idea for you. Uh... What are you staring at? There's literally nothing there. All there is is a flower pot. Buddy, you okay? <sighs> ah, no worries, I do that all the time. Well, anyway, I have an amazing idea for you. Do you want to hear it? <sighs> cool. So our last little getaway and vacation didn't really give us any time off, did it? It went, well, it went a little bit wrong. So I've decided we're going to take another day trip out. And it's going to be nice and simple. No traveling on a plane, train, or anything. We're going to go to the zoo. I know you love animals. I love animals too. So do you want to go and see them? Ah. Awesome. Let's get going. This is going to be a cool trip. See, Traoris, it wasn't that bad, was it? We didn't have to travel far at all. But we did have to travel up here because this is a one-of-a-kind zoo. This zoo is called Sky Zoo because... We're in the air. We're about 30 blocks in the air, so it's very, very unique. It's a little bit small, but it has some cool exhibits. So, you ready? Ah. Good. I also had to run back to the lab quickly because I forgot my emeralds. I know, I know. We might not have, we might have got this whole way and not even been able to get in. So, I grabbed six emeralds. Hopefully, that is enough. Now, I can see a zookeeper. Oh, I can see some mushrooms as well. Ah, oh, how cute. How cute are they? But we need to pay first. So, hello, sir. This is the ticket stand, I believe. How are you doing? Hello there. Welcome to the Sky Zoo, the only one of its kind. How many of you are there today? There are only two of us today, please. Um, Great. Now, the park is super quiet today, so would you like to pay a little bit more for a zookeeper to come around with you and give you a little more info about the animals? You know what, Treyos? That might be quite interesting. Sure, let's go for it. Fantastic. That'll be four emeralds. Please just pop them into the hopper in front of me. Hey, I bought enough emeralds and I get some change as well. Fantastic. Your zookeeper is just to the left of you. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much, sir. I will give you one, two, three, four emeralds. Enjoy them. Don't spend them all at once, okay? Don't spend them all at once. Right then, Treyos, are you ready for this? We're going to go and say hi to our zookeeper, and we're going to see all these emeralds. I can see on your face right there, you are absolutely in wonderment right now. So let's go. Hello, Mr. Zookeeper. How are you doing? Hello there. I will be your zookeeper guide for today. Now, our zoo isn't that large, but it is very unique, and we have a very special exhibit of gorillas at the end. But for now, I'll just leave you two to it, and just ask me if you need any help. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. So where do you think we should start, Treyoris, huh? Where do you think we should start? Over near the mushrooms? Ah. Cool, let's go over there right now. Hello, mushrooms! How are you doing? I like this one. Look at the, um, the little pen that they're in. It's not too much smaller than any of the mushroom islands that you usually find. They've got the mycelium, which I absolutely love. Giant mushrooms galore, and they seem to be very happy here. Mushrooms are so, so cute. Look at their big black eyes. How can you not love a mushroom? So let's ask our zookeeper about him. What would you like to know more about? Um, uh, mushrooms, please. These are some of my personal favorites. You know what? They are some of mine as well. Did you know that you can get mushroom stew from these guys? All you need is to milk them with a wooden bowl. And there you go. Instant tasty food. You know what, Travis? We need to get some mushrooms in the lab. I want to eat mushroom stew all day. That'll be, that'll be absolutely amazing. Right then, let's move on. Um, I can see some horses. What's in this big blue barn over here? Let me have a look. It looks like this one's a bit empty. They might be clearing them out or just like taking them for a walk. Whatever was in here. I, I saw that I could ask you about ocelots. But um, there's no ocelots in here, so they've either escaped or they're just kind of enjoying a stroll around the zoo. Oh my goodness, we have sheep in here. A zoo with sheep in? That's so weird. But we do have some rare colors. We've got orange and lime and we've got pink as well. If only we could get these kind in the wild. That would be absolutely fantastic. Right then, trust. Let's move on. What do we have next? What's over here? Can we not get over there? Closed for refurbishment. Oh man. I wish we could go over there. That looks really, really cool. Anyway, we're going to have to move on to the... What is this? The Butterfly House. I'm going to have to ask you some more about this, Zookeeper. What would you like to know more about? Butterflies, please. This Butterfly House contains many colors of butterfly. We keep them in this house to keep the temperature just right and also control the amount of flowers and their types too. Feel free to look around. You know what? I will. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's close the door as well so they don't get out. Oh, yeah, look. They're kind of just hovering. How weird. Can I touch one? Oh, I made it move. I made it move. There's blue ones. There's, oh, Jesus, coming towards my face. It's getting revenge. <laughs> I didn't mean to annoy you, Mr. Butterfly. Well, there's like yellow ones, red ones, blue ones. Wow. This is so cool. 
Really cool. And I like how they've got all the environment, like, all perfect as well, with flowers, bushes, grass, and all that good stuff. All right then, butterflies. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. And I am going to continue the rest of my zoo tour. So, let's have a look and see what is over here, because we can't quite get over there. So, oh, yeah, well, I forgot about these. These are in the middle. Jeez, they're loud. They are loud. There's penguins. There's polar bears. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, my goodness. They've got their own little kind of igloo made out of snowy dirt as well. That's interesting. Need to do better, penguins. Need to build it out of ice and snow. That's a little bit better. They're really loud. What can you tell me about the polars? Um, this section contains both polar bears and penguins. Ironically, these two would never meet normally as they live on opposite sides of the world. It turns out that they can actually be great friends. That's true. One of them lives on the north pole and the other one that lives on the south pole but look they're, they're great friends these guys are like have frozen wings look at them they're so happy and these big old polar bears definitely aren't eating these penguins yet anyway look how fluffy they are they're so fluffy he's keeping an eye on me oh man that makes me a little bit nervous let's uh let's move on Let's move on a little bit, shall we? Oh, geez, that makes me a little bit nervous. Right, we've got the other side of the zoo here. And, oh, bunnies! Yeah, they've got bunnies. Oh, my goodness, look how many there are. They're so excited. Oh, my goodness, Trails, look how many bunnies there are. I know, right? They're super, super cute. Look at them with their little pink ears. Oh, man, they are so excited. Let's get out of here. They are way too excited. I don't want them breaking down that fence or anything. Come on, Zookeeper. I need you to tell me more about what is in here. Um, what have we got in here? We have... Let me have a look. Oh, crocodiles. For real, we have crocodiles as well. Oh, jeez, I don't want to get too close to those. There's like four in here. They're kind of cute too, you know. What can you tell me about these? Zookeeper, Treros, what are you doing? What are you up to, punks? You know what? You, you don't have to be like this, you know. You don't have to be all jumping around and excited. Treros, are you getting him hyped up? Ah. Of course, of course you are. So there's uh, crocodiles and I think there's something else in here too. Crocodiles. In this enclosure, we have both crocodiles and turtles. Both of these like both their water and their land, but we keep them apart for obvious reasons. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Let's see. Oh, the turtles are so cute as well. Look at them all bundled up in a little family and some of them are taking a swim. Look at those faces. Look at those little faces. These guys can live for ages. I wonder how old these ones are. They look quite young because they're quite small, but wow, they are super cute. Right then, I think it's time for the main event. <gasps> look at those. Look at those gorillas, they're huge. One called Bruce and one called Doris. Oh, and they've got little babies too. Oh my goodness, what can you tell me about these? Uh, gorillas. Now, these are the main exhibit of our Sky Zoo. These are specially bred so they have the best care and chance for survival. Do stay behind the fence and make sure that you close the door behind you as you exit because they could get a little carried away. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Why have we got the lever on the outside? So, um, excuse me, zookeeper. Excuse me, buddy. I just want to open this up and here we go. Oh my goodness, he's coming towards me. Are you okay? Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little face. He's doing a little dance, and so is Doris as well. But Boris is massive. Look how big he is. He is a giant gorilla. This is an amazing exhibit. I like how they still have, like, uh, the view of the sky, but they're still kind of boxed in, so they can have a controlled environment. So, so cute. Travis, you're going to come in. Look, you know what? Come in, buddy. It's really, really cool. The gorillas are fine. They won't hurt you. They won't touch you. Yeah, there we go. What do you think? Not so scary close up, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, not too bad at all. And this little cute one as well has come to say hi. Hello, little man. Oh, you're so cute. Right. I think that's almost the end of our zoo trip. So let's take another lap round and we'll maybe come back and see these as well. Now, Treyoris, just remember to close the door behind you, okay? Because otherwise the gorillas will get out. Right, come on, tour guide. Come on, Treyoris. Let's go. Hmm, I wonder what they're going to do with this closed refurbishment bit. It sounds pretty interesting. Whoa, 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 what was that? <gasps> Bruce! Is that Bruce? The biggest gorilla around? Oh my goodness, guys. Let's go and see what's going on. Bruce, why are you out of your cage, buddy? What are you doing? What on earth are you doing? Ah! What was that? What did you just throw at me? Ow! Oh, gee. Oh, no. No, that stinks. No! No, is that what I think it is, Bruce? That's disgusting. Quick, zookeeper. What are we supposed to do? Wowzers. Someone must have left the door open. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, no. Treoris, you were the last one. I said to close the door. What is wrong with you, buddy? 
Yeah, oops. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, the best way to get him back under control is with the one thing that any monkey loves. Bananas. You can find some in that chest over there. Just lure him over to the temporary cage over there and trap him in. Okay. Let's try this. Um, I need to find the chest, though. Uh, Bruce, be nice to me, please. Be nice to me. Don't throw that out. Don't throw that stuff at me. That is gross, Bruce. Absolutely gross. This must be the chest he's on about. <gasps> yes, bananas. Right, let's grab those. Hi, Bruce. How you doing, buddy? No, don't hit me with that. Ah, uh, you like that, huh? You stop throwing that nasty stuff at me. Look, a really juicy, nice banana for you. And it's all yours if you just follow me. Come on, Bruce. It's okay. Just follow me over here. Yep, walk along those if you need to. There's the cage right there. Come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. It's okay, buddy. Right, follow this banana. It's all yours if you want it. Ha! Yes, it worked! Bruce is trapped! Yeah, we saved the day! But Traorus, it was all your fault in the first place! What were you thinking? Uh. Yeah, you better be punk! Right, Zookeeper, how are you doing? Wow, nice going! We should leave him to calm down for a little while and enjoy that banana. Which means, I'm afraid we're gonna need to close the zoo for the rest of the day. Traorus, oh my goodness, this is all your fault. Thank you so much for your help, even though it was your little friend who left the cage open. I hope you enjoyed your day. You know what, Zookeeper, we really did enjoy our day. Traorus, let's get home before you cause any more trouble. Traorus, we can't take you anywhere, can we? Ah. I know, I know. It was still kind of awesome to save the zoo from a gorilla. That was pretty cool. So let's go and have a look at the treasure room for today. Uh, Traorus? Traorus, why isn't there a treasure room here? Traorus, what happened to the treasure room? It's supposed to be built by now. <sighs> An issue with delivery? That's never happened before. Oh, you know what? Today has just not gone that well at all, has it? You know what, guys? I'm really sorry. We will get that treasure room done for you next time when we have the delivery of the awesome gorilla statue. So that will happen next time, which means two treasure rooms in the next episode, which should be awesome. But for now, that is pretty much it for today's custom mod adventure. If you did enjoy them, please do be sure to leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be awesome. And also, if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join team. TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Again, these custom mod adventures are fully custom, fully awesome, and tons of fun to make. So do make sure you join Team TDM today. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!